All right, here we're going to do a quick demonstration of this trash compactor. Uh, it's a very heavy duty uh, compactor assembly over here. And then here is the, the control logic and relays are up here. And then all of the hydraulics are in this unit. Uh, and they're interconnected with a, with a cable. Um, so to control it, you come over here to the control panel, which is on the compactor unit. Uh, and you can operate this unit in automatic or manual mode. In manual mode, you just simply hold the forward and reverse button and it moves the ram forward and backwards. In automatic, as soon as you hit start, it knows there's a, a predetermined pressure sensor which will stop the ram at a certain pressure indicating that there's a certain amount of uh, crushed items inside of the chamber. So we can just operate it in manual mode just so you can see the ram. There's this huge massive door here uh, and the door can be reversed you can you can unbolt this entire uh, carriage assembly off of this side and flip it to the other side if for space constraints you need to change the the way the door opens so inside of there is the compacting area and that's where the slug will form in there uh, where you put the material is up here in the hopper and then so you can see the, the diameter that's the 14 inch diameter and this is about this is the size of the material you can fit in there stops and the ready light comes on and then what you're supposed to do is open the lid which trips the the lid switch and you put your material in and as soon as I shut the lid it should start the ram coming over so the rams moving and you'll hear it actually come to the end of its stroke because there's nothing in the chamber the chamber full lights on and the motor shuts off and so now what you're supposed to do is take your slug out and then you switch to manual now and then hit eject and then that's the end of that cycle and then you have to reverse it back shut the door, flip it back to automatic, and then do it again. And then you can adjust the slug size and the auto cycle adjust have to do with the pressure at which the ram uh, encounters the material. Compacts it. Yeah, to, to which it compacts it. Um, so you can increase or decrease that pressure, which will make the slug a little bigger or smaller. 